Hello and welcome back. I'm Boom Boom 517 and this is my Far Cry walkthrough. We're about to get started. There'll be a short intro cutscene and then we'll get on to the training level. So let's start. Okay, you noticed there was an RPG-7 in the cutscene. It doesn't actually appear in the game as a weapon. There's a different rocket launcher, but I'll show you that when it pops up first. Okay. Uh, we just have to leave this to load. Uh, you might notice to try and play this game as stealthily as possible. Well, against humans at any rate. No, that ain't a little hint. What's coming? You'll find out. Here we go. Some propaganda. Is that the sun? Sure. Hmm. Well, he's been here a while. I've got to okay. find a way out of here. Hmm. He's a bit flat, mate. <laughs> Lock the door. Oops. That one's blown open. Now, you see this blue bar? That's your stamina bar. It determines running, jumping, and breathing underwater. Look at that stunning view. Wow, it was stunning when you first saw it. And the game around the time that uh, rivaled this was Doom 3. In fact, I think Doom 3 was probably slightly more advanced in its graphics. That was the Japanese uniform. Keep going. Listen, dirtbag. Keep an eye out for some punk in a red Hawaiian shirt. If you see him, call me at once. Am I understood? Yes, yes, sir. I'm heading out.
Run, 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 run. Mm, that doesn't look very stable. <laughs> oh, what do you know? Sounds as if I've played this game before. Again, cutscene. Hello? Are you there? Pick up the radio if you can hear this. I know you're there. I've been tracking you since you and Val arrived. Who are you? I'm the guy who's going to tell you how to survive. Call me Doyle. How do I know I can trust you? Well, for starters, how about the fact that I haven't turned you in? That radio has a bio-reader. Since I know you're there, I could have ratted you out already. Good point. Keep talking. Listen, you need to get out of there and quickly. I'll help you as much as possible, but you don't have much time. There's an exit that will lead to a small camp. Be careful as you go. This area is crawling with mercenaries. By the way, name's Jack Carver. Let's go pick up this deagle. I think it's this deagle anyway. My reports say you're in a red shirt. I suggest you grab some body armor and cover it, or you'll be easily spotted. And some body armor. Your best friend. Some good news. I'm picking you up much more strongly now. I suggest you search the huts for weapons and equipment. Stay low and avoid contact if possible. You don't really want to alert the guards. Max. You hear something? It's up! You can see that bullet went right through the wood. See this deagle's pretty powerful. One or two rounds to take someone out, depending on where you hit them. And there's the assault rifle. Well, the first one, the M16. And while you might think this is the worst one, it's actually got the best Jack, on the move after. This means that now I can supply you with the bearings marker. It should give you a rough idea of where to go at least. Got best on the move accuracy, and it's also got a single fire mode, which the other ones don't have. Although the other ones have grenade launchers instead, so it's good personal preference. It makes this the best of them for close range combat. And then you've got the machete. Does this really need any explaining? <laughs> Yeah, it's the only weapon you can use underwater anyway. I th yeah, you don't get uh, half life underwater pistol action. Use your binoculars to There's survey binoculars. the surroundings. Notice that they have a sound enhancer and movement tracker. Dr. Krieger has fitted everyone on the island with locator signals that you can track using the binocs. Yeah, it's the most useful piece of equipment in the game. Uh, to mark everyone. So did you see the prisoner crow caught? Oh yeah, I'm one of the guys that found her. No kidding, who is she? Don't know. CIA, something like that, I'll bet. You serious? CIA? Or something like that. Definitely a spy. Well, crawl figure it out. Yep, as you could hear, it amplifies sound, meaning you can listen to people's conversations from afar. Which is quite awesome, really. Down. You should try to acquire one of I their should. vehicles and drive to the helicopter refueling pad. It's on the other side of the island. From there, you can use one of their boats to escape. Okay. Let's head up towards the sky. Let's 
try to. Right. You see that? Then come down. Whatever that Red, was, orange, I don't care. To yellow. You see something? Green. I don't know what that was. Take care. The mercenaries are trained to work together. If you alert one, they will bring others. It's a copter. <laughs> Off you fall. <laughs> Headshot. these ladders are because that can happen and it can happen anywhere up the ladder <laughs> yes, I can. Oh, yes, I can. Where's this guy? Must be inside the building. Don't move! Drop on me. This base disabled, that's an alarm. Okay, now I've got a key card for somewhere. Wonder what that could be. More body armor. I've got a TV. Health pack, and 
taking some damage at some point. Ooh, armory. Get more body armor. binoculars around in case you somehow didn't pick up binoculars to begin with. I'll make... No, I can't, can I? One sec. I just need to find a checkpoint. Pretty sure I know where one is. So that's the first part of the first mission that I'm going to do. I will be back with part two in a bit. Thank you for watching. Boom Boom 517.